Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Fleetwood Town against Gillingham Vlog. Now wow, these games coming up are absolutely massive for this football club. Now Gillingham are 22nd in League One. Fleet with a 21st. It's only a point between us. They played a game extra than us. Today we can go outside of the relegation zone for the first time in a few months, really, and climb all the way up to 18th if results go our way. But we could also end two points from bottom and five points adrift. So it's that type of game. And with Morecambe and Shrewsbury coming up next, it's huge. Gillingham have got a lot of players out, including Vadine Oliver, and he's one of their better players. You know, John Akinde's out as well, Kyle Dempsey. You know, they've only got eight to nine first team plays, but Fleetwood are very thin on the ground as well. Both teams are in embargoes. It's going to be a big game. Fair play to the, what, 100 Gillingham fans that will probably come up. It's a long way, two weeks before Christmas. I salute you all. Let's get down to Highbury. Looking forward to a big game. Two, you know, you know decent clubs, two decent fan bases. Come on, Fleetwood. Right. Fresh from answering the phone the other day in the middle yeah. of the interview. Let's hope the phone doesn't go off today. Yep. Manager job, you know, coming up. Yep. Great win the other night, 3-0. Harrison Biggins' masterclass. That's three and two for him now. A chance of back-to-back -back wins. Gillingham are struggling at the moment. They're down there, just below us. Yep. A lot of the academy are in there today. What's your score prediction? What's your thoughts? Well, good win on, the, uh, on Tuesday night. Decent. But uh, I think it'll be a 3-1 win to us, and we're going to stay up this year. Can we just notice how Doddy here, standing face to the camera, and Booker here is getting the badge in. You've always got to get that badge in. And Tyler, we've got a pie review. In, in the absence of Corey, wherever he is, at quarter past one on a Saturday, poor form, can tell he's been in Kings the night before. What's a pie review like? And what's, what's going to be the score today? I'll have a bite first. Let's see, I'll see what it's like. In your own time, Doddy, in your own time. Chicken bolty, banging. Nice and tender chicken. The, uh, the pastry's beautiful, banging. Proper ding dang do. Uh, sc score prediction, 4-0 uh, to the Cods. Shane and Morris with four goals. Come on, the Cods. Yeah, I think we get it, mate. Shane and Morris is your mate. Go on, the Cods. Go. go. Ellis, great win in midweek. 3-0. Harrison begins getting two. And Garner taking his goal very well, actually. What are you thinking today? A very depleted Gillingham squad. Uh, yeah, uh, Steve Evers is on thin ice. They've not won in, won in the last seven. You know, I think it's going to be an even game as we are both sat in relegation. But I think I think we might take it out of their hands today. Score prediction. I'm going to go 2-1 to Fleetwood. And can I do my goal scorers? Goal scorers, I'm going to go Jed Garner and Biggins again. And I think I'm going to go Jack Adkins for them if he starts. If um, I think he is injured, but again, you know, they've got, they have still got some good players. You know, Danny Lloyd being one of those. JJ, score prediction. You've been in a few vlogs this year. I think we've won a couple of them as well, so you are a lucky charm. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go. I did say 2 0, 2 1 before, but I'm going to go with 2 0 to Fleetwood now. I think we played really good midweek. And if we play like that, then I think we'll uh, obviously come out with a win. And goal scorers for Fleetwood, I'm going to go Callum Morton. And uh, I'm going to go with uh, Jay Matete. Two's game this again. We're only killing five subs. Again, the strong side. Jaden Morris comes in. Great for back to back beaches for the first time this season. Gallup on four. Then we can really build in January. Come on, boys. They got hacked a few years ago. One Shane Really big. That's all we want here. It was like, fucking, yeah, mate, you have two of them. Google it, that's eight grand a piece. What's shit, then? Eight grand a piece, it's a fucking bargain. It's hard to Been really poor this first half an hour. You know, both sides in the bottom four, you can tell by the quality in that final third. Really poor that end product. Again, it feels like nil-nil or one-nil written all over this, whichever side wins it. Look, 
Koş şeylim. Hadi. Wow. From left back alone, just wide of the post, but better. His last five minutes, he's big and scored. Again, 1 0. Little us to 18 like at the table, but Steve McGurk says, gambling means gamble. Hey. We could really do with that second goal again. Kicking towards our home fan second half. Yes. Just yes. Again, it's going to be a big, big second half for 18 yes. currently. Um, could really yes, do with that goal difference and that three points. Going to Morgan and Shrewsbury are around us. Morgan going to lose it as well. Like with a little bit having a few ah. shots in distance, but nothing really tested out if it comes all its cans. Again, that second goal, Paddy Lane, 
seven assists this season. In my opinion, our best sign is since Ash Hunter. Again, keep a side. We have a player down, but it's 2 1. With about 20 minutes to go. Again, all of a sudden, we've got to go up there to down there. Big 20 minutes. Jack Garn, in my opinion, one of the best finishers at the club. Make something out of nothing over the bar. But again, a long 10 minutes to go. We've got about a minute to go, just got to see this out, whatever way we do it. It's not been pretty, but three points is three points. Well, that is fun for this show. We'd like to see me have a heart attack. Five minutes added on.